Let me show you how to find the equation of a tangent line. Like this one, your tan line is showing. Uh, so we want to find the equation of this tangent line, this, this thing uh, according to this graph. So this graph right here, this could represent you know f of x or something like that, like any, any sort of graph at all. And if we want to find the equation of a tangent line, well, we have to first pick a point. So let's say we pick that one. Well, then what we need to do is find uh, the tangent line. So I don't know, maybe I'll try to draw it. I don't know if it'll be perfect, but something like something like that, maybe. This right here could be the equation we're trying to find the tangent line for. So this is the tangent line we'd be trying to find at that point. Remember, a tangent line, well, the equation of a straight line always goes y equals mx plus c, where c is the y-intercept. In this case, it would be like negative something. And in this case, the m is the gradient, so it looks like it's some positive number. But keep in mind, where you're doing the tangent line is important because if you did it over here, do you notice, it would be totally different because your tangent line would be something that went down like this, or here it would be flat. So the point where you do it is important. Okay, so tangent lines, you don't just find it for anything. You have to find it at a specific place. All right, so let's actually go ahead and uh, figure that out. So if we look at this, this is sort of the key steps I think you should follow. So if you're going to find the equation of a tangent line, step one, find the derivative at any point. Find f prime of x. Now you want your tangent line at a specific point. Let's say we called it a. So find it at that specific point. When you do that, you've just found what we call, you know, m that's what you've just found here, okay? You've just found m. In, in this form, you know when we say y equals mx plus c? This is what I mean here. So in this case right here, we're going to be trying to then find, well, once you know m, you plug that into here. Do you see that? Then you know, all right, so you know, you know m. Great, you got that. It helps to know um, coordinates of the point, actually. So you need to know x and y coordinates. That would really help to know. So, you know, if you know what x is, then you have to also know what y is. So you would take those two values for y and for x, and you'd plug them in. So you notice that once you know y, you know m, you know x, you can solve for c. And then you have the equation in the right form. This is the idea behind it. So let's try it out. Let's see if we can do this by hand, first of all. Uh, so let's find the equation of a tangent line um, of y equals x squared, which is this quadratic. Remember, it looks like, whoa, that's a really bad straight line, isn't it? So this is this straight line. I'm just going to attempt to guess what it will look like before I even do it here, just to have some intuition about it. So we've got x and we've got y. We've got this graph, y equals x squared. It looks something like this, something like that. This is x squared. Right? That's what this is, y equals x squared. All right, and at x equals 2, it really helps to know that's the point we want. So at x equals 2, right here, you really need to know what y is. What is y when x is 2? So when x is 2, what is y? Well, we can use the original equation, right? So 2 squared is going to be 4. Aha, so now I know that when x is 2, y is 4. So now I know that. I didn't do it very well to scale, did I? I mean, but oh well, you get the idea. So what will the graph look like? Well, if I had to estimate, it looks something, you know, something like that. I have no idea where this will be because my drawing is pretty crappy, but I'm expecting some sort of positive gradient with maybe a negative um, y-intercept. Let's see if I get it. So I'll follow those steps. I'll say, well, first, let's use the derivative. That's the whole point of doing all this. So let's go ahead and find the derivative. So f primed of x should be the easiest one ever because if you remember your rules for derivatives, the 2 comes in front. I have x to the power of 2 minus 1, which is just 1. So there it is. I've got f primed of x. Boom, done. Now I want to do it at the point x equals 2. So f primed of 2, that's what I was looking for here. f primed of 2 will be just 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. So now I know m. So m equals 4. Remember I was explaining the whole point of doing this. That gradient is this. Because remember, look. When we do the equation y equals mx plus c, m is the gradient. So I just found the gradient. Isn't that kind of cool? Derivatives are gradients. So all right, so I've got that. I've actually got everything I need. So now let's just put it in this form, this form y equals mx plus c. And I know everything I need. Watch carefully. I know that y, I know that that's 4. I know that m is over here. See, that's 4. I know that x is 2. See that? I know those values. So let me go ahead and plug them in. So I have 4 equals 4 times 2 plus c. So that means 4 equals 8 plus c. What is c then? 
Well, that's going to be 4 minus 8. Isn't that what C is going to be? I move my 8 over. 4 minus 8 is uh, minus 4. So what does this tell me then? That tells me that the total in the end, the equation is y equals mx plus c. So I'm going to say m, which is 4, times x plus c. Well, c is negative 4, so there we go. So this is my equation for the tangent line. Does it make sense? Has a y-intercept that's negative? Yeah, that makes sense. And the gradient is positive? Yeah, that makes sense. There we go. So you can do this by hand if you want. You can also do this with a calculator. So I just want to show you how to do that. Um, so with the calculator, you can go ahead and just graph it first. Then you have to draw the data point. So this is actually really important here. So this is at least how you do it on the TI Inspire and the 84. Um, I just want to show you how to do this. And of course, you can just use your calculator all the time, but no, sometimes questions will be phrased such that you can't do it. So I'll show you the one, like, you know, if you have Ks in it, that sort of messes it up. But let me just show you how to do this on your calculator. So first I'm going to do a graph. Let's just go ahead and do the one that I just did here, x squared. Let's do that one, x squared at x equals 2. Let's see if I can do that example. So let me try to do that. So first of all, it helps to look at the graph. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll say give me the graph for y equals x squared. Yay. All right, so I've done the graph. Now i got to draw the point. So I'm going to do menu, analyze, and do dy, dx. So what I'm going to do then is go menu, analyze, and say give me the derivative, please. Now, it asks you where do you want it. Just type in the point. I wanted x equals 2, so I just type in 2, and I press enter. Notice what it did then. This happens to be the gradient. So the gradient is 4. Okay. So now I've drawn the point. You see that I've done that? I typed in the x value directly. Now comes the awesome part. I can ask my calculator to draw me this tangent line. So I go to menu, and I go to geometry this time, and I go to points and lines, and then I go to tangent. Look, I want to draw a tangent line. And it says, where do you want it? I'm just going to put my uh, cursor right here and click on that point that I just drew. Do you notice what it says here? Look, 4x minus 4. That's the equation of a tangent line. Look, it just did it for me. It's kind of cheating, isn't it? So there we go. Uh, that was the equation of a tangent line. Now what's amazing about this is, watch, as I move this now, look what it does. It changes the equation of my tangent line. Look. See that? Now it's negative here where the y-intercept is uh, some negative number. Here it should be flat. I should be able to get it to go to zero. Let's see. Yeah. y equals zero because it's flat. So did you notice that? So you can see the equation of a tangent line changing depending on where you put your point. Because that's the important part is the tangent line changes everywhere. So you got to tell it where do you want it. Well, if I wanted it exactly x equal 2, you know, then I had to be exactly, where was it, like right here? Just about at least. Right? So I just got it back to where I was, just about. Something like that. Come on, something like that. I didn't quite get it, but you get the idea, right? There you go. So there we go. I've got my gradient is 4. My y-intercept is minus 4. I've done it. So like I said, you might be wondering, why don't I just do this all the time? Well, because sometimes the question is phrased in a sneaky way. Watch. They could go like this instead. They're kind of backwards. Like, all right, f of x equals k x squared plus x plus 3. And you know the point p, uh, 1, 5, lies on f of x. Right away, before I do anything else, that means I know that when x equals 1, I know that y equals 5. That's what this tells me. This is this point p here. Now, I know the equation of a tangent line at this point, P, is going to be y equals 3x plus 2. Remember what this means? This is the gradient. That's m, which is the gradient, right? Well, I also know this here is the y-intercept. So you have to be a little bit sneaky here because it's not obvious what to do. I want to find k. I'm kind of stuck. So what can I do? Well, I can start by finding the derivative. That's often the case in calculus. In a calculus question, very often, if you're not sure what to do, find the derivative. Let me show you what you can do with it in a second. So let's find the derivative. The derivative will be, let's see here, 2 times k will just be 2k. Still got an x, and it's to the power of 2 minus 1, which is just 1, so it's just that. Plus, let's see, this is a little x to the 1 right now, so the 1 comes in front, x becomes uh, x to the 1 minus 1, which is x to the 0, it just disappears, so there's no more x's. And this 3 right here disappears, it goes poof, it's gone. So this is my equation for my gradient, or my derivative. Now here's the good news, I know that it's at x equals 1 here, do you notice that? I know that. So I know that when x equals 1, 
Okay, I know something special happens. I know that my gradient, watch very carefully, this is maybe not obvious, my gradient, do I know anything about the gradient? Yes, look, look very, very carefully. They told us the equation of the tangent line. And the tangent line, this first number, is m. It is the gradient. So I know that that number is 3. So I know that when x equals 1, I know that my derivative is 3. So watch, now I can say 3 equals 2 times k times 1, because x is 1, plus 1. I keep going to 1 times 2 is just 2, so I have 3 equals 2k plus 1. Then we move the plus 1 over. That means I have 3 minus 1, which is 2 equals 2k. That means k equals 1. Isn't that awesome? So k equals 1. I'm done. Now, if you weren't sure if that was the case, because see, I kind of had to do this question backwards. See, before we started with the equation, we found the point, we found the derivative, we found the derivative at that point and got the gradient. Then we put it all in to find c. In this case, well, we didn't really care about c. We kind of worked backwards. We kind of knew the answer. We knew the answer, you know, the gradient here. So in this case right here, you notice, we already knew the gradient. It wasn't obvious. It was kind of sneaky. Now, if you're not sure, you could always check. You could always check if you did it right. Let me show you here. How could you check? Well, let's check if we have this equation here. f of x equals, and let's put in my k value. So k is supposed to be 1. So if f of x equals x squared plus x plus 3, let's see what happens at x equals 1. Let's see the equation of a tangent line. Let's see what I get. So let me just try to do that. I'll do a new graph, and I'll just try to do this graph here. So x squared plus x plus 3. Enter. All right, now I'm going to do my um, derivative at x equals 1. And I get my derivative is 3. That's a good sign. And now I'm going to ask my calculator, so geometry, points and lines, tangent, do it at this point. Look, there's my equation for my tangent line. Is it this? Yes. That's how I know I've done it right. Isn't that awesome? So we're done. I hope you don't feel so bad here. <laughs> I really hate this joke, and I also love it at the same time. <laughs> I hate to go up on a tangent. Oh, I'm embarrassed. But there we go. So this is how we do tangent lines. I hope you get it. Step one, find the derivative at any point. Step two, find the derivative at the specific point. That's m. Then use the equation y equals mx plus c. Use the x value, the y value, and m that you just found to get c.